Were you curious why C-3PO had a red arm during The Force Awakens? Well, luckily, Disney slash Marvel recently released a C-3PO special that explains it all. So today, I want to share with you the story of how and why C-3PO had that red arm during The Force Awakens. Our story begins with C-3PO's ship escorting a droid named Amre that worked for the First Order to a Resistance base. However, for some reason, their ship ends up crashing. This is bad news, besides it being bad that your ship crashed on a planet because squishies tend to die, because it was vital they get the droid prisoner to the base as he had information on where Admiral Akbar was being held by the First Order. Even though the First Order droid claimed he had never heard of an Akbar. Regardless, they were sure the droid had Akbar's location, and they feared if they couldn't get to the Admiral in time, he would be interrogated and then executed. So the ship crashes, and it appears all the organic crew have died, leaving only the droids. Besides C-3PO and the prisoner droid, the other droids in the party included a military-grade droid, a construction droid, a medical droid, and a security droid. After a minor disagreement about who should be in charge, with C-3PO claiming to have the most field experience, C-3PO senses a homing beacon from a First Order vessel that crashed several cycles ago, about 87 kilometers from them. Deciding it was their best bet to get off the planet, they began to head towards the beacon. But on their journey to the beacon, the droids would face off against the planet's natural predators and landscape. First, they were attacked by spice spiders, but the security droid gave his life so the other droids could escape. Next, they came to an oil field. They knew if they fell in because of their weight, they would never surface again. But luckily, the construction droid made itself into a bridge and allowed the droids to begin to cross. However, during the crossing, native creatures began to attack them once more. In the attack, the military droid was destroyed, and C-3PO's arm was torn off by one of the creatures. After the remaining droids crossed to the other side, the construction droid was too injured to change back to his normal form, and instead, he sank into the oil. As C-3PO cried out that there were six of them, but now only three, some insect creatures appeared and grabbed the medical droid, leaving only the golden droid and the prisoner droid left. The two droids, having little other choice, continued on, but just before they reached the beacon, acid rain began to pour down. Hiding under the wing of a crashed ship, they knew soon the rain would melt the ship, then the beacon, and then them. Just when it looked like there was no hope, Amre turned to see 3 po and said, Here, you have a mission. There is nothing in my directive telling me to prevent you from completing it. And he transferred the location of where the First Order was holding Akbar, which he always knew. 3 po questioned why he was betraying the First Order and changing sides. To which he responds, I'm not choosing sides. I'm choosing friendship. C-3PO's one-time prisoner then stepped out into the rain and the acid stripped away his top coating to reveal a red primer. The droid managed to set the beacon to the frequency of the resistance, but on his way back to the cover of the ship, he fell apart. Finally, Poe with BB-8 would arrive to rescue C-3PO who informed the pilot all the crew were gone but him. Poe tells him that they'd make sure their sacrifice wasn't in vain, and at least now they knew where Akbar was being held. Poe also tells the droid he needs a new arm, but C-3PO, picking up the red arm of Amre, says he already had one. Later, BB-8 and C-3PO, on a resistance ship, were talking. BB-8 inquires about C-3PO and tells him that he's been quiet lately. C-3PO informs the little droid that he knows that he's been quiet and others have also mentioned it. He also talks about the red arm, telling him that even though it offends his aesthetic sensibilities, nevertheless, he would keep it for a while, to remember. Remember the droids that sacrificed their lives, and the enemy droid turned friend. Lastly, the ghosts of the droid friends he had lost can be seen. So that is how C-3PO got that red arm that we see him with during The Force Awakens. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, it helps the channel out a lot. Unless you don't like this channel, then it hurts it a lot and you are a goddamn monster. Besides that, make sure you come back for more Star Wars videos, Game of Thrones videos, comic videos, and anything sci-fi fantasy related.